Do a stretch. Hey. Hello, welcome to SourceFed, please. Sam Basher and I do your nerd news videos every morning and we think we know, oh my God. Hello. <laughs> Is this how you deal with nerves? Uh -huh. We're having a bit of a quiz together over a game of Jenga, but it's Jenga with a new set of rules. Every time we pull a piece out from Jenga, we get to ask the other person... A question. What kind of questions? Any types of questions. It could be embarrassing questions, it could be learning questions about your past, they could be preferences, they could be really dull. I wrote a few <laughs> dull ones in there, but let's get started. Oh, you dull. You shouldn't have. <laughs> <laughs> There's definitely pun questions in here. Scissors, paper, rock to see who goes first. Ready? How do you do it, by the way? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay, I'm scissors, rock. paper, rock, and on rockets go. Scissors, paper, rock? Rocks. Yeah. It's not even alphabetical order. Why'd you pick that? Rock, paper... Neither is rock, paper, scissors. Do you... Oh, really? One, two, three, uh, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, Bam. Okay, you go All first. right, so I pull it, and okay. you ask me a question. No, uh, if you get, if you pull correctly, you pull smoothly. I have to ask you a question. Yeah. That's the rules, kids. And yeah, yeah. we haven't tried this game before yet. We're, this is just a work in progress. It's oh, also nice. a high stress game because I'm gonna try not to say anything too embarrassing about myself, but also not fuck up the Jenga. Wow, I got shaky hands today. All right, what's Ooh, my boy. question? All right, your question is, what's the worst lie you ever told your parents? All right, so I'm pulling while answering that one. The worst lie I ever told my parents. I don't really lie to my parents. Liar. I didn't lie too much. Nothing really comes to mind. Like, I didn't sni- Come on, you passed it. No way, no way, no way. I didn't sneak out at night. Come on! Oh, <sighs> got it. I was like, there's no way we're gonna knock it over in the second try. <laughs> there's no well, way. it is me. Uh -huh. Lie that I told my, oh my gosh, okay, so this is the one I do remember. Um, when I was a kid, the first time I got caught lying was because I took a bite of an apple and then put it in the fridge. Ew. My mum was like, who took a bite of an apple and put it back? And we all, she was like, Jack, did you do it? And he was like, no, Darcy, no, Maud, no. She was like, and then she pulled me aside after and she goes, it was you. Mm -hmm. Do you know how I know it was you? Because there's a huge gap between the two fronts <laughs> of the bite mark. <laughs> 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 Sorry, that was my lesson. Like, only life you can get away with it, and there's no evidence. Alrighty. Damn, that's um, not too bad. All right, you get to put I the pulled, thing. Oh yeah. And then you get to ask one. Okay. Sam Basher. <clears throat> I already know it, mm -hmm. even though I don't have to open it up. This is just for everybody what else. What was your <laughs> least? What was your most hated nickname? Your least favorite nickname that you got? Uh, I mean, I always get it because it's Sam, but I really. Oh, you put it out there so it's on the internet and people know. I hate Sammy. I hate Sammy. I hate Sammy with a passion. I think that the only there's only been one person Are that can call me. Yeah, I got no. I'm a pro at Jenga. I, I the only person who can call me Sammy was a guy who used to work here. His name was Sky. He was from like New York. Ooh, we're not gonna do that accent. But he could call Sammy. me Sammy because he was like, "Hey, Sammy boy," and I was like. <laughs> so when I call cool. you Sammy by accident, okay, loud and clear, loud and clear. <sighs> Oh, Chris, you're learning something today. Don't call me Sammy, because if you call me Sammy, oh boy, testicles shrink up inside me. What was your first cartoon crush? That's a better way of asking oh, that. Ar Ariel and Eric from The Little Mermaid. Who'd you have first? I think Ariel. I was four. Ah, uh, she was pretty. Yeah, crush was at four? Yeah, I was just, okay, so what I knew is that she was so pretty that it wasn't that I wanted to be her, I wanted to be with her. Oh. Yeah. Oh, my turn. Why you ask question? Ba -da, da, da, da. Your oh, who are your three favorite doctors from Doctor Who? Oh, that's I me. Mean, okay, to be honest, I've only watched like the newer stuff, oh, but okay. I really like um, Matt Smith is top. Yep. Then David Tennant. Yep. And then Peter Capaldi. Bless you. Yeah, Peter Capaldi. I say okay. him. John Hurt's like right behind him when he did like the special. He did like he was on the fiftieth anniversary as like the hidden doctor. John Hurt. John Hurt. John Hurt. Um, he's oh. from. Oh yeah, Hellboy. Is that help? No. Nope. Cool. No, nope. John Hurt. All right. Yeah. And, uh, uh. Bless you. I got it. So I get to ask you a question. Yeah. In your opinion. Yep. What's the best video game? That's easy. You no, already, it's not. You already know the answer to that one. Uh, are you gonna say? Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Ooh. Best video game ever, hands down. It was the game that made me a gamer. That game is so boring. You were three or so when you tried I've to tried, play it. No, I've tried after. The soundtrack is impeccable. 
The way that the story progresses is amazing. The challenges are so great. You got to rescue a horse? Yeah. Doesn't your animal side even like flare up at that? Is that uh, no. Zelda was one of the princesses that didn't need to be rescued. She was planting seeds to help you. Mm -hmm. She was. She had the Triforce of Wisdom. And the, the, I'm going to be honest, I was on the start menu a lot when you know the horse is running through like the grass dun, fields. Dun, dun, dun. I was mainly stuck on that dun, for a long time. Dun, dun, dun. You just press start. Okay, so you can't shoot on a game. I was in remedial math. I was in remedial math, all right? Your turn to ask a question. <laughs> How dumb are you? No, I'm <laughs> Do just a long division. How old were you when you first had your kiss? You When you had your first kiss. How old were you when you had your first kiss, and what was it like? Uh, Debbie. Uh, <laughs> Aubrey. Aubrey? It, it was, um, which Hi, is Aubrey. always confusing because there's an Audrey here and those people, when I see them, it's just you like... You already got it? Yeah, I already got it. Wow. Uh, pro. Uh, but it was truth or dare. And we were you did it in a track. truth or dare? Mm -hmm. It counts. It there's counts. There's so much pressure, though. It is. Oh, yeah. Did it, you just... It was just like a quick like peck. Uh, that's, but what, that's not what I'm talking about. I guess first kiss. That's a first kiss. That's a first kiss. The f the, this kiss was in eighth grade and uh, I did it. And she said, ew, after super crushing. Ninth grade was the first like real kiss and that was fun. Did she go yay? Yay, no, but then I touched a boob after and I was like, oh, cool! Was it like a... Like, yes. <laughs> I thought you meant, was it this tough? Was it oh. like, was it like... <laughs> it was like, no, it was like... <laughs> I'm you sorry, it's ninth grade. Yeah. You're bum. Yeah, I was like, okay. <laughs> uh, if I could, there's no one here I can bring in to be appropriate, but it was like... No, not really. It was like... Either. Oh, you squeezed! Like that, but I wasn't like, at least I wasn't... Ouch. Which I've heard, I've heard stories of people doing Ouch. that. that. Sounds like it hurts. Mm -hmm. Alright, what's my question? Yeah, your question, most embarrassing moment in... High school. <sighs> yeah. I went to an all-girls private school. Our uniform was the color of the green screen. Actually, it was a little bit more apple. It was disgusting. Oof. And I was sitting there in legal studies class, and I was like, What the hell is legal studies? Legal Stel studies, where you study legal things. When you oh. study to be a lawyer. You know. <laughs> <sighs> I don't want to say this. But, um... Let's just say that you can see red on green. Oh no. And the biggest bully in this, my grade, as I was going to the bathroom to check myself, I got wrecked by her and she called me out and she was just like, you got, and I was like, I know, I know, I'm going to the bathroom. So that was probably single-handedly the most embarrassing day of high school. Yeah, mine does not compare. <laughs> that eclipses it 100%. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that on uh, this game of jig. <laughs> Do you know what though? I know so many stories that are worse than that. There was a girl in our grade that had that on the first day of high school. Oh. Which, oh, it was all girls, so they had to wear green, not like they didn't wear like all white. All girls schools. Mm -hmm. Happens to all of us, but no one wants to talk about it. There that's, you go. That's the next revolution. Oh, your question. Uh huh. Oh, that sucked. <laughs> What's a fun fact about Natasha Romanoff? Um, she was originally a villain. Same with Hawkeye. They were both villains. And uh, as an Avengers initiative, uh, they started hiring... Can you do that? Yeah. Oh, wait, what? I'll, I'll try not to. Ah! <laughs> Ooh! Uh, Go on, keep talking Anyways, yeah, they, uh, as a way of, for like a second whip of Avengers, they, they hired a bunch of villains. That's why Quicksilver and uh, Scarlet Witch yep. were a part of it. And then they had Hawkeye, and Black Widow came in later. But yeah, they, she started out as a villain. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And she was an Iron Man villain. Oh, mm -hmm. then why is she on Team Iron Man and Civil War? We'll have to wait until May, whatever the fuck, and we'll figure <laughs> out that, huh? What's the most Australian phrase you can think of? Oh, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and it should be a long one if you can. My favorite one that I like to use is, I'm um, gonna fang it, fang it in my car, Chucky Yui, piss bolt down the road. So I can go to the servo in the Arvo to pick up some petrol and where I can get some grub and smash tinnies and smoko. <laughs> smoko isn't what I think it is, right? It's the, it's, it's lunch, I asked you that one. right? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's lunch. lunch. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Can you do like a play-by-play? -play? Oh <laughs> wow! 
I didn't drink enough water today, guys. I'm spitting all over the place. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'll go ahead and. So what happens when you touch titty? <laughs> <laughs> you start foaming at the mouth. <laughs> what is what is it, what do any of those things mean? I'm gonna uh, fang it in my car. I'm gonna go, drive really really fast, um, and chuck a Yui. I'm gonna do, make a U-turn so I can go to the servo the petrol station in the Arvo afternoon to fill up with petrol gas. Um, and get some grub food uh, in the Arvo afternoon and during Smoko lunchtime. Really quite simple. Your question. Uh. <clears throat> oh, smashing tinnies is obviously having. Obviously having a beer, beer. Beer in a can. Obviously. But you're drinking them quite fast. Uh, what are two things you like about yourself? Um, my eyes. Uh huh. I like my eyes. They have different colors in them. I like when I win Jenga. Hold on, everybody. Shh. 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 <clears throat> and you know how I sneeze as well. Every time I sneeze, it's like a lucky dip. You never know what you're gonna get. Whew. Well done. And I like my hair color. <laughs> it's all vanity based. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going in. And while you're doing that. When did you realize Star Wars rules your life? When I was 11. Why? It's when I first saw the trilogy back to back. Oh. And then I saw, it was the first movie that I went on a group date to. Mm -hmm. I managed to convince four other people that going to see Return of the Jedi, even though when they'd seen no Star Wars at all, mm -hmm. the third of the trilogy and digitally remastered at the cinema was the best movie for a date. Mm -hmm. I spent the whole time loving it, having to explain what was going on. And then they were just like, that sucked. And I was like, yes! So yeah, watching all the trilogies. I had a sick day and mum was like, watch all these. And I was like, okay. And I was mm -hmm. like, Ewoks. Yeah. Boy, that sounds like a lot. I committed one day to watching the extended edition of Lord of the Rings and oh my God, do I regret it so much. I was yelling at the screen, Boromir, just die already. I don't. How many hours did he take? Let's count them. I don't know what I hate. I hate it. What superhero could possibly top your love for The Flash? Um, What's a superhero that can contend? That's a tough one. I think Hal Jordan's Green Lantern. Whoa. Green Lantern. Leonard. Or Leonard. Good guy. And I also like, right now, I've been really, really, really liking Silk. Silk? In the Spider-Man comics, they found out that when he was bit, uh, a girl, uh, I think she's Asian American, was bitten at the same time. Oh. But they, when they started to figure out that pe there was a man who was bitten by a radioactive spider that was like out saving the world, someone had the same symptoms, and they grabbed her and put her in a vault and like trained her. But she wasn't, she never like went outside for years and years and years. So she basically she has a '90s kids mentality. Uh -huh. But in current day, and she's got a kick-ass costume and she's really funny. So I like her and I relate to her. I would like to see her in a movie. That's pretty cool. Silk. Uh -huh. Silk. Go ahead. Check out her comic. She's great. Oh. Ready? <clears throat> and best breakfast food. I don't like eggs or bacon. I know. Bacon? That doesn't make sense. Why? Wait, what is I'm that? I'm getting, I'm slowly getting better with bacon, but eggs, gross. Okay, eggs are an acquired taste. Cereal, but uh -huh. not American cereal because you guys put sugar in everything. And what's wrong with that? Well, you're gonna get diabetes. And? And die. And? I have health problems. And? I think I've, I think I've ticked quite a few boxes of why it's quite bad Fine. for you. Um, I like porridge. <laughs> <laughs> is that like cream of wheat? What is porridge? What's in porridge? Oats. Oh, oatmeal? Like oatmeal? Yeah. Oh, porridge yeah. always sounded more gross when I was a kid. Porridge is awesome to say. Por and I always say thought it like it I do though. Porridge? <laughs> oh, it's just gonna have a little porridge. Hey, mom and pop, could you give her a little porridge? I do an accent channel. Every with you guys. Australian it's like ASMR. watching this. Actually, every person from England and South Africa and New Zealand are watching All this. All non Americans are offended. Not cool. <laughs> All right. some Americans pretty offended at that as well. Yeah. Uh, what's it? Oh, I think you kind of answered that one, actually. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> oh, no. What noise do your farts make? They recently, they have been smelling some. No, no, some do, we fierce. don't need to go there. We just need to know what noise they make. No, I, they've been bassier. 
I don't know. It's like I have tighter pants, so you kind of hold the cheeks together, so it uh, doesn't make reverb. Yeah, a little reverb in there. Great villain from Flash. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it's. I can't make it. I can't make a fart noise with my mouth. But it, it definitely there's a lot of bass in there. I could be a bass player for a rock band. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm. It's like die look. <laughs> uh, how many puns do you make in one day? If you had to guess. <sighs> really, it does depend. Like. It really depends. Top of your... I almost knocked over the goddamn table. Chris is shaking his head. <laughs> they give me life, Sam! They give me life! And everyone's groans and head shakes, it makes me want to do it so much more. You're feeding this beast. And the commenters are oh. like, oh, that's so funny, keep doing it. It's the puns. Hurt. Not everyone says that. They hurt. <laughs> <clears throat> so to answer your question, mm -hmm. my punter, how many do you think it <laughs> Maybe pun or two? <laughs> A lot. Kenny, I see you laughing off <laughs> camera, and I need you to control yourself because the more you laugh, the more she makes. Kenny, you're the worst, man. <laughs> you're not a good wingman. Alrighty. Um... Do ready for yours? Uh -huh. Oh, okay. What's your What's your worst moment in high school? Oh, you want? I shared oh, mine, so oh, fine. dish it up. Oh, fine. We'll switch it up. Um, we're, uh, so I was in show choir, and when you singing and dancing, and you perform musical numbers and whatever pop culture shit, there's these things called risers. Pretty mm -hmm. self-explanatory. The platforms you dance on. They have a like a like a one footer, then like a five footer, and then like a Seven footer, it's like tiered, yeah, like yeah. a little tier thing, and like uh, they're they're pretty big. They're like as bad as wise as table, so and they're heavy. Um, when you're on the top, you got to be really aware of where you're at because you could fall off real, real easy. Um, How easy? Ooh, like uh, how many times? <laughs> enough. Actually, that was gonna. I had an embarrassing story for that, but I'm not gonna tell that one anymore because that's not as embarrassing as the thing I just remembered. Because in one freshman year, there was a dance move with my dance partner. She's over on this side, and uh, well, basically we had to punch out, <gasps> and then you punch out that way, and then I bend down, and you bend up. It was like and like like kind of like that, yeah. Oh, and then you let's come go. Together, ready, ready? And I go. It goes one, two, bend, like that. Yay! But I went. Oh, <laughs> you, you punched <laughs> a chick in the face. So if anyone was to she actually ask, she punched me back. Really? She punched me back, not in the face, but she gave me a good uh, punch, and she laughed at it. So after. if you were if you were connected to a, a lie detector, and they said, "Sam Basher, have you ever hit a woman?" I didn't do it on purpose. I didn't ever do it on purpose. Do you ever guys ever get in this? Oh God, that's awful. But yeah, one time it just kind of just nicked the chin, nicked the chin. There was blood. And I felt I felt so. Bad, but it was only between us two, but still the most embarrassing moment in high school. Okay. Yeah. You got another question? Yeah. I'm probably going to mess this up, so. I got 50,000 more questions, oh so God. you better be ready. Oh, God. No, no. Ooh, I just got to figure out what it is. Oh, God. Okay. What's the worst piece of Star Wars merchandise somebody's ever bought you that you had to pretend that you really liked? <clears throat> oh, this I know you have a bunch. I know you have a bunch. This have you ever thrown one away? Sorry, to tell, my, answer one of the questions. My <laughs> mom thought she'd try to get in on it for Christmas, which was really sweet, but she got me this star, uh, Stormtrooper candy dispenser, uh -huh. dispensary, and it's so lame. Aww, and why? And like, the candy's really small, and it's not really, like, the whole point is so big to do something so small mm -hmm. with Lolly's even tinier. And she's like, Stormtrooper candy! Mm -hmm. And I was like, Mom. <laughs> now it just kind of sits there. And there's still candy in it, but like, what's the point? Speaking of, there's some Stormtrooper gummy candy on my desk if you'd ever like to help Ew, yourself. No, I don't know. There's a lot of stuff on I've your desk. I've tried a couple. Uh -huh. It's just not great. You had to fight through it. All right, I'm All right. ready. I'm ready for one fisherman. Um, have you ever liked a co worker? Asks you. Uh, have, have you? Ever liked a co worker? Uh, not at this job. Uh, when I was a lifeguard. I had a crush on a girl. This just reminds me of like the inverse me. of Wendy Peppercorn. What's that? Oh, from oh, Sandlot. Oh, Sandlot. Okay, Sandlot. Oh, that's okay, one of okay. The I forgot her name. Scenes. Oh yeah. Wendy mm. Peppercorn. That's super. That dude's super creepy, right? Right? Small. Is that Smalls? What's his name? You're killing me, Smalls. Is no, it? No, 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 no. Smalls no. is the 
the main guy. Uh-huh. The guy with the glasses. What's his name? It was the guy from Sandlot with stat, the glasses. Stat checker. Sandlot kids. From Sandlot IMDb. With the, with the, uh, but yeah, that is a really creepy scene, but I had a... a just sh- his face after he's like... <laughs> like he's smiling, and when he goes in, like holds her head and like kisses her. I'm like, oh, yeah. that's a little creepy. But uh, I, I had a crush on her, and during... Did you get one? Yeah. Uh-huh. And then we would train, and like we'd have to sit next to each other for like... And I, there were four-hour shifts of sitting next to each other in silence because you have to watch, watch. like the, if people are going to die or not. And uh, finally I was like... Do you want to hang out later? And she was like, I mean, I'm going out with my boyfriend. I was like, no, no, no. Uh, And that was the first time I've ever gone on a limb to ever ask somebody out since then. You've never done it since? Also, it's just like, I mean, like, I'm not great The first, at it. whoa, 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 in year seven, I asked out the very first guy and he said he had a girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Sure, I kicked him in the nuts and ran away, but it hasn't stopped me from trying to ask out guys since. Was that fair? No, to I kick had it. to apologize to him 10 years later because I was racked with guilt. Okay, you held on to that for 10 years. Oh, I mean, I felt really bad. Yes, you should. And I ran into him, I was like, oh, Nick, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry that I did that. <laughs> he didn't remember. No. I was like, you said I was cute. I remember every time I was hitting the nuts. You How can't many forget times? that. You can't for- You don't forget when you're hitting the nuts. How many times? Enough. Why would anyone do that? Uh, no, or on purpose, but like also when you're with guys in the locker room and they Am go, I uh, it's your turn because I just answered a question. Wait, right? Who the fuck answered a question? You just answered a question. I answered a question. I just said answer and I never uh, say answer. I say answer. Answer. <sighs> oh my God. Oh God. Sorry, I got a question from Twitter that someone sent me. Thank you for sending those to me. Would you rather have no toes or always have wet socks from Carl at Space? Uh, I think V3. I kind of, haven't we medically dis, uh, discovered that if you don't have toes, you can't stand up? You'd I mean, you learn how to balance. You'd have to learn. You wouldn't be great at it, right? I don't, I mean, I'm wearing socks right now, but I wear a lot of open toe shoes. I'd get around it. Can't wear open toe shoes with no toes, can mm. you? No, it would just be oh, one big for toe. for sure, I would socks, for yeah? sure. Wet yeah. socks, yeah. forever. Yeah. Whenever you need to put on socks, it's going to be wet socks. You're on an airplane, because if you're on an airplane into open-toed shoes, that's kind of, that's, that's a little gross. That's a little gross. But uh, I mean, I'd probably have, like, funky-ass feet the entire time, wouldn't I? But at least I've got toes. Uh-huh. You'd just get a cream. Ew. Wouldn't she? Ew. How old were you when you last shat yourself? <laughs> what? I just stole your question. Mm-hmm. You better stay. Hold on. It's, hold on. I fucked up a little bit. No, I think you picked the PC you go to see it through, right? Um. Or do you get to put it back and try? No, again? I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna try again. <gasps> I'm just gonna. Everybody, shut up. How old were you when you last shot yourself, Sam Basher? Say, tell me now. Um. Say it. Come on. I need all the concentration to answer the question. That's the on, whole point of the game. <laughs> it was on. It was probably in high school. Oh, and that wasn't your most. Em- Everyone needs to shut up. Imagine being super <laughs> duper ill, trying to like <laughs> carbo load before a swim meet. Think about that. Just think Did about you all shoot yourself I... in your tongue? No, 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 no. But I was like, uh, it was basically it wasn't like a full like thing. But you just like sneeze far a little bit, and you're like, damn. That was a whiff. That was an un. That was I don't trust farts. You know, when you're sick. Never trust. You need to fucking scoot back on the fucking plank. You need to scoot back on the fucking plank. You need to scoot <laughs> back on the fucking plank. That's what you need to I fucking do. I think we've do. got this one. Come on, get us here. All right, everyone, shh. Ready? And three. Motherfucker. <gasps> oh, Does that mean I won? Yeah, it means you won. Wow. Wow. Congratulations. We learned about when Sam shit himself on this episode of Source for Plays. Hope you enjoyed. Yeah, we, we shared quite a lot there. Um, but also, how many times did you say that you were a pro at Jenga? Oh, I'm a pro at Jenga. I'm sorry. The shitting myself question. I'm sorry. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> threw me off. But if you guys like this, make sure you give this video a like, subscribe, and comment down below about any time that Actually, you've ever shit yourself. Actually, maybe don't comment down below. Oh. Let's leave below just away just and com- give it a second. Let us know when you shit yourself. Please let us know when you shit yourself. It would make me feel better. Have I'm you s- chanced to fart and it came through a little wet? Everybody, let us know. every adult has. Every you adult. Screw anyone. There's this guy who's just first time in the building. Buddy, mate, have you? Yeah, yeah. Hi. Oh, him? Have you ever shat yourself? No, yeah, I have actually. 
There told you, you everyone's done it. Yes, You're the stranger who just it. came into the building. <laughs> and I, I'm glad we know more. Guys, I'm Sam. I'm Mud. Bye bye. bye. <laughs> Thanks for being a part of it. We got a waiver for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, welcome back to Superhero 101. Today I'm gonna talk about who this cable guy is and what might happen if he pops up in Deadpool 2. It has been announced that Warner Brothers will be releasing an R-rated director's cut of Batman v Superman. Does this mean I can watch it at the cinema? Uh, 